Multiple sclerosis is a disease of the nervous system that, on average, affects over 2.5 million people in the world. Some symptoms of this disease are blurred vision, double vision, loss of vision in one eye, weakness in arms and legs, dizziness, numbness, paralysis, seizures, tremors, headaches, depression, fatigue, and slurred speech. However, multiple sclerosis is not fatal. There is a 95% chance of normal life expectancy. Every week, over 200 Americans are diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, with women being affected 50% more than men. No single gene is responsible for the disease. It all depends if an individual inherits a combination of several genes, and this combination has not yet been determined. Doctors and scientists are investigating the human leukocyte antigen, also called HLA, on chromosome 6 and possibly 19 because the HLA patterns of an MS patient seem to differ from those who have it. Genetics is only part of multiple sclerosis. Other aspects that affect the disease are the environment and viral factors. However, if a person in a family has MS, that person's immediate relatives, parents, children, and siblings have a 1-3% to chance of getting MS as opposed to the less than one-tenth percent of the rest of the population that have the chance of acquiring MS. It is also known that women are almost twice as likely as men to be infected. In the case of identical twins, the likelihood that the second twin will develop MS if the first twin does is roughly 30%. For fraternal twins, the likelihood is far less, about 4%. The likelihood is currently unknown, but tests are being performed by researchers to help determine this for the future. MS is not dominant, recessive, or codominant. It is rather a combination of genes that is harmful to the body. This, there is not one specific gene that determines if a person has MS. MS is probably a chromosomal abnormality, since the human leukocyte antigen is located on chromosome 6, and those who have MS seem to have different HLA patterns, it is probable that chromosomal abnormality is the cause. The human leukocyte antigen is a combination of genes that sit in chromosome 6 and detect the proteins made by the antigen on the cell surface. MS is more likely to occur in Northern Europe, the Northern United States, Southern Australia, and New Zealand than in other areas. However, people of African, Asian, and Hispanic backgrounds are not immune. Geographic studies indicate there may be an environmental factor involved. People with a family history of MS and those who live in a geographical area with a higher incident rate for MS have a higher risk of the disease. The role of an environmental factor is suggested by studies of the effect of migration on the risk of developing MS. Age plays an important role in determining this change in risk. Young people in low-risk groups who move into countries with higher MS rates display the risk rates of their new surroundings, while older migrants retain the risk of their original home country. One interpretation of these studies is that an environmental factor, either protective or harmful, is acquired in early life. The risk of disease later in life reflects the effects of the early environment. Since it is unknown the exact combination of the genes that cause MS, it is also unknown exactly which protein is produced. What is known, however, is that there is strong evidence that says MS could be located on chromosome 6 in a region called the ma major histocompatibility complex. This area is the master switch for the immune system, making MS an autoimmune disorder. The MHC is a group of genes that code for histocompatibility antigens on the surface of cells. They help identify types of tissue and the compatibility of people who want to have transplants. It is also possible that MS could be located on chromosome 3, 5, 6, or 19, but necessary tests need to be done to help narrow down the possible regions. Specifically, chromosome 3P21 was mentioned with CCR5 and CCR2B. A rather odd expression of the proteins coded for by these genes has been detected in instances of demyelination, since myelin is destroyed in MS, causing insulation of nerve cell fibers in both the brain and the spinal cord. Electrochemical messages between the brain, spinal cord, and rest of the body are slowed down or blocked entirely. Communication between the brain and spinal cord is, vi is vital and determining what causes these complications is possibly the most important thing a researcher can do at this point. According to Disorders MS, some patients have a CCR5 allele with a 32 base pair deletion and have had an onset three years later than patients without this deletion. This is also a lead worth investigating. With help from groups like NIH and NINDS, a cure for MS is on the horizon. It will just take a little more time. Multiple sclerosis may not be diagnosed for months to years after symptoms start showing up. There are three tests that neurologists use to find MS. An MRI or MRS could be done to identify, describe, and date lesions in the brain. Another test that is used 
is evoked potentials, which examines the impulses through nerves to see if they're moving normally or too slow. The last test that doctors do is examine the cerebrospinal fluid that surrounds spinal cord and may identify abnormal chemicals or cells that suggest the presence of MS. The human leukocyte antigen is the protein on chromosome 6 that influences the immune system. MS results from myelin loss, which can make lesions or plaque in the brain, which affects the brain. The body, through its immune system, launches an attack on its own tissues. This protein alteration affects the patient by them possibly having a shortened life and disabilities having to do with muscles, hearing loss, and other disabilities. This disease definitely could alter the life of the sufferer. Numerous disabilities. The patient has to undergo therapy like physical therapy and adjunctive therapy that is a hyperbaric oxygenation. The family has to worry about the family member with this disease by taking care of them all the time and even worse, some of the family can be carriers of MS and have children with the disease. So it affects the patient and the patient's family in many ways. Sufferers of multiple sclerosis are diagnosed by various tests including a review of their medical history, neurological examination, MRI scan, and a spinal tap lumbar puncture. A medical history review is a thorough look at the patient's sy symptoms over a period of time and their rate of progression. A neurologic examination is when a neurologist examines the different components of the nervous system. Coordination and balance, vision, speech, memory, muscle strength, and sensation. An MRI scan examines the brain, neck, spinal cord, and soft tissue damage, damage done to the myelin. A spinal tap determines the amount of immune cells and proteins in the fluid that surrounds the spinal cord. A doctor takes samples of the fluid with a needle and analyzes it. There is not a precise genetic test for MS as of now, but researchers are currently testing gene therapy on animal models as a possibility for the future. There have been positive results by finding leukocyte activation, cytokines, and nerve growth factors in MS is diagnosed most frequently between the ages of 20 to 40. However, there has been some case studies where MS has affected persons under the age of 20 and in one case even a six-year-old. There is no cure for multiple sclerosis as of now, but there is treatment. MS researchers have begun to develop a map for the cure. It contains four phases and is partially completed. There have been multiple different drugs developed to treat the symptoms of MS. These drugs do not cure the disease or the symptoms, they just slow down the rate of the disease. Many patients choose and do well without any treatment. They frequently choose not to because of the increased risk of the drug's side effects. Studies have shown that forms of beta interferon have slowed and degressed the onset of physical disabilities. A protein-based drug, Copaxon, has indicated it has few side effects and reduced the relapse rate by almost one-third. Steroids have been shown to positively reduce the length of attacks in some patients also. Muscle relaxers help to break the stiffness in muscles caused by spasm attacks as well as physical therapy. The National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, NINDS, and other institutes of the National Institutes of Health, NIH, have been conducting research in laboratories at the NIH and also have generously given grants to the medical institutions across the country in hope of a helpful insight on MS. Researchers and scientists continue their broad efforts to create new and better therapies for MS also. There are also a number of treatments under investigation that may help reduce attacks or improve physical function. Over a dozen clinical trials are currently testing potential therapies and additional new treatments are being devised.